Hello, this is Dr. Prasad Kutilam with the class series on uh, Innovation and Design Thinking, the theory part of uh, uh, Innovation Design Thinking, the object type question and uh, answers videos already uploaded uh, in the my YouTube channel, my intuition. Okay, so this is uh, module 3. There are four modules in this uh, particular uh, uh, syllabus. Uh, uh, the fifth one is that is workshop. Uh, then the workshop uh, uh, videos are also available in my YouTube channel. Okay, so this is uh, about uh, uh, design thinking in IT, in uh, information technology, to business process modeling, agile in virtual collaboration environment, scenario based prototyping. So I am not uh, going in depth, but I am giving introducing uh, some of the terms which are uh, important uh, uh, and uh, the material which I used uh, uh, to prepare this slide that is also available in my in the description of this video down if you click uh, there is a description box in the video uh, youtube description box uh, there you can find the the uh, clickable uh, pdf form if you click uh, the pdf form will you can download it. okay so uh, design thinking in it okay, so design thinking in it uh, uh, design thinking it is a problem solving approach which is often used in the field of uh, IT, that is information technology, to improve uh, the products, uh, services and processes. Uh, the design thinking process actually typ typically it consists of uh, uh, five stages like empathizing, defining, ideate, prototype and uh, test. So in IT, uh, design thinking often used to understand the needs and the pain points of the users and to identify the opportunities for innovation. It can be used to design uh, new softwares or uh, design new website, uh, mobile apps uh, and other digital products. For example, uh, a design thinking approach it can be used uh, to create user-centered designs uh, that are very easy to use and meet the needs of uh, the target audience. Design thinking in uh, information technology also allows for the consideration of uh, different uh, uh, perspectives and uh, the collaboration between designers, uh, the developers and the stakeholders. It encourages uh, uh, rapid prototyping and testing and, uh, we, uh, and which enables the team to quickly validate or, uh, or invalidate the ideas. Next, uh, uh, design thinking to business uh, 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 process modeling. Uh, design thinking to business process modeling uh, uh, it can be applied or design thinking can be applied uh, to the business process modeling in order to improve the efficiency and uh, the effectiveness of a, a business process. Uh, business process modeling uh, is the representation of a business process using the visual notations uh, such as a, a flowchart or a, a process map which is used to understand, analyze and improve the process. The design thinking can help to identify the needs and the pain points of the people who are involved in the business process, such as the employees or customers or the stakeholders. So this information can be used to create a user-centered design that addresses these needs and the pain points. Uh, design thinking approach uh, in uh, business process modeling uh, uh, also allows for a collaborative and uh, iterative uh, process where different stakeholders uh, they can provide input and uh, feedback on the design. This helps to uh, ensure that uh, the process meets the needs of all stakeholders and is more likely to be uh, adopted and uh, used uh, uh, effectively. So, in addition, uh, the design thinking uh, it allows for, uh, for for rapid prototyping and testing. It enables uh, the design team to quickly validate or invalidate the ideas, which allows for more effect, uh, more efficient process of improvement. Uh, agile in virtual collaboration. Uh, agile it's a method. Uh, it's a methodology. Agile methodology which is commonly used uh, in software development and project management. 
to deliver the products and uh, services in collaboration uh, uh, in a in, in iterative way uh, in a virtual collaboration environment uh, the agile can be used to manage and uh, coordinate the works of a, a distributed team uh, where the members may be located in different locations that is a distributed team means and they are working remotely but working together working remotely as well as doing the same project that is the main the agile methodology it empathizes or it emphasizes not empathizes uh, that is happens when because design thinking i usually use the word empathy define idea prototype so by default empathize comes in front of emphasize okay so agile methodology it emphasizes uh, the, the flexibility the adaptability or the continuous improvement uh, which are essential uh, in the in the virtual collaboration environment uh, it encourages the team members to work uh, uh, closely together uh, communicate uh, frequently and make decisions uh, together for the collaborative the use of agile methodology such as uh, the uh, scrum or uh, kanban or lean it allows teams to manage their work in a more flexible way and respond quickly to the changes which is particularly important in the fast paced and uh, ever changing virtual collaboration environment so the agile approach it also facilitates communication and collaboration among team members uh, which is essential in uh, virtual collaboration environment uh, where the team members are not physically located in the same place it promotes the regular uh, check-ins uh, such as daily stand-up meetings or uh, sprint planning sessions uh, that keep team members informed about uh, the progress of the project and provide an opportunity to address any issues or obstacle that may arise uh, scenario based prototyping scenario based prototyping is a design method uh, which involves creating series of uh, scenarios or uh, stories uh, which describes uh, how a product or service will be used in uh, different uh, situations so these scenarios are then used to guide the design and development of a prototype which can take the form of a physical model or a computer simulation uh, or a working prototype Scenario based prototyping uh, helps uh, the designers and uh, developers to understand the needs and behavior of uh, users and to identify the potential problems or opportunities early in the design process. So by creating scenarios uh, that describes different uses or uh, different use cases, designers they can anticipate how users will interact with the product or services and identify areas where further design or development is needed so scenario based prototyping is an iterative process where the designers and developers they work closely with uh, users to test and refine the prototype which allows them to gather feedback on the design and make the uh, needed adjustments so this process can be repeated until the prototype meets the needs of a user and satisfies the requirement of the project so scenario based prototyping uh, it can be used in various fields such as the product design service design or, um, or user experience design software development or it can be used to design and test new products services and or uh, user interfaces or to improve the existing ones so the methodology allows uh, designers to create uh, realistic and detailed prototypes uh, that can be used to test and uh, validate the design concepts uh, and to gather the feedback from users uh, oh, that's about uh, module 3 uh, thank you very much for uh, being a good subscriber of my youtube channel supporting my videos uh, supporting my youtube channel my intuition sharing the videos and uh, liking the videos uh, so that i get more visibility uh, I'll be very happy if uh, you'll get you got some information from my video. Thank you very much and have a nice day.